guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show haul. I feel like I've been talking about the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show for like weeks now. My past two videos were about the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. So before you watch this haul, if you haven't seen the vlog, I'm gonna link it down in the description bar so you watch that first. So you kind of get an idea of what the show looks like or what things are available. Obviously, as you can see here beside me, I ended up getting so many new things. I am so excited to show you guys. Um, I really wanna just like take my time and just kind of like show you guys. I feel like I'm always talking so fast and like trying to get this video done fast so you guys don't get bored but I really want to take my time and show you guys each piece because all the pieces are just so amazing and it's the direction that I want to go with my clothes for the spring and the summertime so it's a little bit different I have a few new pieces I'm really really excited to show you guys so without further ado I'm just gonna jump right into it okay there's a lot of stuff here and I don't really know where to start. Maybe I should start with the clothes. Okay, so in my first bag, I have something that I was actually looking for. Well, kind of. I was looking for something like this in a different color, but I ended up finding this one in green. Um, so it looks like this and it is a tool prom dress and you're probably like Caroline like what do you need a prom dress for you already went the prom but you know what I can wear this out for like a date or something I feel like this would be super super cute it's really nice and voluminous and it has like this really beautiful like lime green without it being like neon green I don't know how to explain it. it's like a pastel neon green if that makes any sense um, so it looks like this it is stunning it has all this ruching along the waistline so it like really singes you in and it just like flares out at the bottom just because it does have like a built-in um, crinoline on the inside which is cool let's go with this massive bag here look at how giant this bag is like if I put it in front of me it's huge first thing that I have on the very top here is a petticoat it's really really fluffy and it looks like this so you wear this underneath like a dress just to kind of give it that really nice 1950s like puffed out like flared out look um, so I have a few like 1950s dresses that I really needed a new one of these I do own some petticoats but they are modern petticoats so I feel like they don't really do the same thing that like old ones did this one definitely has way more volume than the ones that I have the next thing that I have is another prom dress because I don't know why I need prom dresses um, but this one was just like so stunning I couldn't pass it up so it looks like this it is lace um, and it's like a really nice baby pink and it just kind of like flares out all the way down to the bottom I feel like this is from like the 1950s just based on the length and the cut of it um, so it's really really nice it has like a really nice wide neckline there and then on the back there is a little bow at the back which I think is a really darling little like detail I just think it's like really really pretty I feel like I only bought dresses this entire weekend this is more of a daytime dress it looks like this um, it is white and it has all these pink and blue little flowers all over it I think it's absolutely stunning this is more of like an everyday day-to-day -day kind of dress that I'll be wearing this summer with like a little ponytail and like a ribbon in my hair or something it is a fit and flare style which I feel like is gonna be like the vibe that I'm going for this spring and summer I feel like that's the kind of dresses that I really want to get like very like 1950s like summertime fit and flare dress like really big I don't know I just I really love that silhouette right now um, and on another note it does come with a belt as well so you can just cinch it in and it is like a little matching belt which is cute so I think this is the last clothing piece that I have um, and it is another dress and this one is more neons it's definitely more like 1960s 70s kind of style um, so it looks like this it is lime green this one is like a really bright neon green um, and I just think it's like super super fun and super cute this is definitely something like I would wear on like a night out um, so it looks like this the entire sleeve is all lace which I think is really really beautiful and it has like a bit of a flare to it which is really fun um, and then on the bottom there's all these little pleats that just kind of like flare out with some like wiring on almost on the bottom just so it has like a lettuce kind of like cut to the bottom um, and then on the back there is a really nice long little ribbon here that you can tie either like just like one knot so it like dangles really long or you can make like a bow which depending on what you do to your hair or what you're kind of feeling that day now moving on to more accessory type things and like the things that you kind of see on the side here so the first thing that I have as you guys can probably tell from the very beginning of this video is this gorgeous gorgeous bag it is stunning it is a cream kind of like an off-white color and it has all these beautiful flowers all over it and I just think it's absolutely stunning I've been looking for a bag like this for a while but I can never find them in like this perfect of a condition or like at the right price I feel like sometimes some of these are like very overpriced for some reason this one was incredibly reasonable I think it was $35 for this gorgeous like vintage bag and it is in incredible condition if you see the inside it is literally like 
so clean like I don't even think this was used at all and the hardware does not even have a single scratch on it which is amazing um, so yeah I really really love this I feel like this is gonna be one of my go-to bags for the spring and summer I also ended up getting another little handbag so this one looks like this it is like this really tiny little brown bag which I think would have been really perfect for the fall just because of the color and this one ended up being five dollars the vendor had like this random box of bags for five dollars and I saw this one and I don't even know if it was actually supposed to be in there or not because it had like another price tag on the inside but then she said it was five dollars so I was like okay I'll get it um, I just think it's like really really cute and like a really nice everyday kind of bag like when you're running errands or something and I also have some accessories um, so I'm gonna go through these ones so the first one that I have is this little hairpin it's like that tooth kind of like clip comb thingy I don't really know it's like a little pin so like when I put my hair in like half up half down or something I can just kind of like stick this on the top and then you have the little pearls and flowers just kind of like sticking out which I think is really dainty and feminine I also got one brooch so this one is black and it has this kind of like embroidered flower all over it really similar to that purse I just showed you guys but in black um, so I think this would look really cute going into like transitioning from the winter to the spring because you can wear like a dark outfit and just kind of add this as a pop of color and the next thing that I have oh I was able to find some sweater clips it is so hard to find sweater clips I can never find them like anywhere um, so I was really excited that I was able to find two so the first one looks like this it has like these green little jewels that look like leaves and then it has a little gold chain so I think this is like really really pretty it makes me think of like the 1940s for some reason not sure exactly what time period it's actually from but it just kind of reminds me of like that time period um, and then again with this one it looks like this this one has these really big flowers on it and it has this little like light blue little jewel so this would be really nice again transitioning into like the springtime and then it has these little like taupe little pearls and some gold hardware I feel like sweater clips really need to make a comeback like I don't know why people don't like them or wear them anymore I think they are such a fun accessory like imagine this in like street style or like on the runway or something like what a fun accessory that people don't even wear anymore it's honestly really really tragic I don't know if you guys remember this but like like I've, I'm kind of like starting to play around with a sewing machine and like trying to like alter my own things or like be able to create my own pieces with like patterns and stuff so I'm kind of like experimenting a little bit so far like I'm not an expert or anything like I'm just practicing but I did see this little shoe that has the little cushion for pins and I just thought this would be so cute it is really tiny so it doesn't fit too much but then again like I am just starting out so um, I thought it would be really really cute and I just like really love that I was also able to find two white gloves I love like springtime gloves like you know how back in like the 1950s and like before they would wear like really nice gloves all the time like I just think it's like so fun and something we don't really do like in the summertime you don't really see people wearing gloves or anything like white gloves so anyway for the springtime I am bringing that vibe back and I was able to find two really fun pairs so the first one looks like this it's like like a regular white glove on the inside but then on the top it has like all these like cutouts of little roses and little dots and stuff and I just think it's like so beautiful and I've never seen anything like it so I just really had to grab it and the second pair was actually something I had been on the hunt for and it is like a knitted pair of white gloves and I just think these are so stunning I feel like they wore stuff like this like I don't know maybe like 1930s 1940s uh, I'm not sure what decade these ones are actually from but they are in like pristine condition and I just think they are so cute and like so different you don't see these like ever like if you go to a modern store like you're not finding this like there's just no way and then I was also able to find a bunch of handkerchiefs um, in like different colors and patterns so I'll do like a little b-roll so you guys can see so I'm not like going through all of them and I like having these in my purse because sometimes I want to clean my phone or something and like I'm wearing it like a material that I really shouldn't be cleaning my phone with so I'll just like take this out and like clean my screen or something or if I have like a makeup smudge or something on my face um, so yeah these are really handy to have in your purse and I think these were like two dollars each so I was able to find like a bunch of different um, colors and stuff I was able to find the greatest hats you guys know I love hats it's like my favorite accessory obviously like you know how some girls are like they like they're like really into shoes well I'm the same way but with hats I love collecting hats so I was able to find three different hats so the first hat that I have looks like this it is very Jackie Kennedy it is just amazing little pillbox hat that has like the netting at the top so it just sits on my head really really nicely and I know I'm gonna be wearing this like the entire spring and summer I just think it's so cute uh, and I love this color I didn't have any pink hats so 
Speaking of, I didn't have any pink hats. Now I own two because I was able to find another little pillbox hat. This one is a little bit more structured and it does have a lot of like ruching going on around it as well as these three little pearls. Um, and this one again just kind of like sits on the top of my head. You guys saw this in my vlog. I was trying it on in the mirror and I just think it's so, so, so cute. I obviously have to style my hair better for this, but just for the purpose of me showing it to you, this is what it looks like. And then the very last hat that I got is a red hat. You guys know red, my favorite color. Um, and this one looks like this. It is stunning. This one was also part of my vlog and I just think it's so much fun. Like imagine this with like a red trench coat, like an A-line one with the buttons. Like A plus outfit, you know? Um, I just think it's so much fun. It just adds so much detail to an outfit. Like I feel like these kind of hats really need to make a comeback. Like. I don't know who is deciding on what comes back in fashion, but this is really what should be coming back, you know? And then I also ended up picking up a sheer little scarf, which I know you mentioned in my little vlog that I was gonna be wearing a lot this spring and summer, which is very true. For the entire like fall and winter, I ended up wearing a lot of scarves tighter on my head and I really wanted to transition that into the spring and summer. So this is kind of like my way of doing that. Um, and it is with these like sheer little scarves. And I just think it looks so cute. Like this with a trench coat, like I am dying that is such a cute look and especially because in the springtime there's so much rain like I just think that is like such a look and I love this kind of like light blue color and it does have like this sort of like grid almost to it with these little like sunflower looking patterns on it and like look at how fluffy and like airy it is <laughs> I also ended up getting this really fun little jewelry storage box and this one is like a bright red and it has all this really pretty gold little pattern all over it um, and then you open it and it looks like this and it is just really fun. I can kind of like store all these random jewelry pieces that I have. Um, I'm probably going to put this like underneath a drawer or something like I don't really know where I'm going to put this but I feel like I can store so many different things in here and I think it was only like $10 so I thought that was a pretty good price. I have two more pieces to show you guys so the first one looks like this so it looks like it's a luxury but it's actually plastic and it's like a storage container. It's like really cool because it does have like a little like divider on the inside as you can see there. So it's really really cool. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in it. Like I was kind of thinking of taking out the dividers and just storing like all my sheer little scarves like this or I could store like headbands or something on the inside. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I do want to try and make these dividers work just because obviously I have them available but if not um, I'll just kind of like take it out and store like random things on the inside. And the last thing is probably the biggest thing that I bought like structure wise um, and it looks like this so it is like a little train makeup case type thing so I really want to use this for like when I go away for like a weekend trip or something I want to get like an old vintage suitcase and then I can have all of my makeup and like hair accessories and like hairbrush and like straightening iron and stuff like that all in here which I think would be really cool so you press it and it opens um, and then on the inside it just kind of looks like this and it has these little pockets and stuff so I think it's gonna be really nice to like organize everything and just like a different way to kind of carry around all of my beauty products and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite as well as let me know in the comments below what's something that you're looking forward to wearing this spring and summer for me it's gonna be 1950s early 60s fit and flare dresses I feel like I'm just like really into that vibe right now and I really want to find some new pieces as well well as the sheer scarves tied around my head for the springtime. I feel like that's going to be so great. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you are subscribed, make sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. I have so many fun plans for the spring and summer. I'm just like really excited to actually be able to like hang out outside and not freeze to death. I'm um, really, really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hopefully this audio sounds okay. I've been playing around with the microphone and I really hope that this audio sounds okay and it's not like... Psh.